So we're going to look at this equation of tangent line. Anytime you want to find a tangent line, you're going to need to get the slope of your function, which we take a derivative first. So here's our function, y equals 6 sine x. Now we have derivative, which we write as y prime. So a constant multiple is 6 times the derivative of sine x. Now I have all the derivatives written over here. And the one we're going to use is nice at the top right there. So derivative of sine is cosine. So y prime is 6 cos x. So now we're going to plug in. Now we're going to plug in the x value here, pi over 6. And you can write it as y prime parentheses uh, x because the input is x. And now we'll put in pi over 6 where we see x. So we got 6 cos pi over 6. I like to draw the unit circle. Pi over 6 is the first stop right here. Hopefully you have these either memorized or written down somewhere easy. There's three spots in the first quadrant. This one is square root 3 over 2 is the x value and 1 half is the y value. And cosine is the x value here. So it's 6 times square root 3 over 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we got 3 square root 3. All right, so we need a line. I strongly recommend you use point slope form. The reason why I don't like uh, the y-intercept form is because right away we have a point that's not on the y-axis. So we do not have a y-intercept. We have a point that's not a y-intercept. So let's use the point slope form. Usually you see it written as y minus y one equals m x minus x one and what I'm going to do is add y one to the other side and now I'm going to change around some of the uh, letters here the slope is now we usually write it as f prime uh, of x one meaning the x value you're going to plug in so our x1 is our x value, pi over 6. We have x minus x1. And a lot of times you'll see y written, y1 written as f of x1. Uh, but for us, I'll just call it y1 because we were already given that y value. So y1 is this 3 right here. Let me just plug all these in. So f prime of x, we got right down here, or f prime of uh, our x values pi over 6. So there's our slope, 3 square root 3, x minus pi over 6 plus 3. You do not need to obsess about y-intercept form. This is just fine for the uh, point slope form for the equation of a line. Uh, you could distribute if you really want to and then add your constants together, but that's algebra that is completely unnecessary. So yeah, it's point slope form. And one thing, the common error that I see people make all the time is right here. Instead of right, doing f prime of x1, they'll just write f prime of x, which is our 6 cos x right here. And when you plug that in here, you do not have a line. You have a trig function, uh, which is not going to be a line. So this is not what you should be plugging in here.